Looking ahead to fire season, experts predict that we could see a major fire this summer. And a new Portland state study says that those wildfires have a dramatic impact on snow melt that could last for years. Yeah, Cole Miller joins us with a look at that research. This is sort of fascinating, Cole. Jeff, it is, and scary, too. The West could see yet another brutal blow from these fires, the season itself actually growing longer and longer. And while so many of us have seen the burn scars that they leave behind, that study suggests that those charred landscapes can have a huge effect on snowpack. Fire season has made its way back to the northwest. We saw one, albeit a very small one, near Mosier just last week, but all signs point to the potential for something much bigger down the road. Those are those problem drought areas at this point. While I'm not anticipating a high number of large costly type fires for those areas, even one or two large fires in June is unusual for those areas, and I, I do think that they are at risk uh, this year. Take a look at the outlook map for June from the National Interagency Coordination Center. In July, that red spreads. More of Oregon now in that significant risk, and it doesn't get any better in August. This is our archive of samples that we've already analyzed. And over at Portland State University, you can see there's big chunks of charred debris in there. A new study reveals just what those wildfires mean for snowpack and the melt that follows. It's a vicious cycle, says Kelly Gleason, an assistant professor of ecohydrology. She points to two reasons. One, those fires burn away the forest canopy, making it easier for the sun to reach that snowpack. Next, the charred remains lead to falling debris, that blackened mess, then coating the snow. So like wearing a black shirt on a sunny day, the snowpack gets hot. It absorbs a lot more sunlight and then melts faster and earlier in the, the year. So this is one year following fire. Gleason says these effects can last for up to 15 years and that 11% of all fire impacted forests are already seeing an earlier melt. Well, Gleason hopes that her research can better help water managers as they assess needs based on that melt and how fast it is melting. We have a lot more on that study on our website as well as the fire outlook at coin.com.